kind of, oh, that's not the door I want. Why is this still open? Kind of dangerous. Welcome back to the Drunken Gamer. Today, we're drinking some wine. Which kind of wine? Barefoot Fruit Scuttle Apple. It's pretty tasty. Uh, it's deliciously sweet, according to this. Um, it's not got a lot of alcohol in it, I don't think. I think it's, yeah, it's only 7.5%, so it's not high alcohol content. But it's very tasty. So last episode, um, we got some rat training done. And uh, so we got our lumberjack. And actually, so in between episodes, my lumberjack rat disappeared. So I was actually getting prepared to build a whole another lumberjack. Why is this open? You've still got three more in there, buddy. What are you doing? Are you stuck? You want to hang on to that? Okay, I don't know. Okay, you got you got to figure it out now. So, I was prepared to build another rat, uh, a lumberjack rat, and I actually built this room now to train my rats in, rather than that little hole thing that I had, and they kept getting stuck. So now I have a door, and so I do have another rat. I just ended up not needing it, I guess, because the lumberjack. I you know I re I exited the game and it crashed, and then it came back. It my lumberjack rat was back so whatever i guess so this um episode i need to get some more actually what i was planning on doing was getting more red dye and i no longer need the red dye because i needed it for the lumberjack rat however you should i think yeah you put bone meal on roses you get rose bushes so that's why i had that there so I still wanted to do that because I wanted to get some some roses. So if I need more red dye in the future, I have that option. Um, but I think we need to work on some power generation. I don't know what these power cells are doing. I don't think they're doing anything. And I kind of wanted to go, I think, windmills? Wind generators? They're a little expensive. But, and the higher they are, the more power they generate uh, for mechanism here. And so energy tablets, they're not stupid expensive. I mean, a little bit of gold, some infused alloys, which is just enriched or, you know, redstone dust infused into iron. It's not super difficult to make them. But the nice thing with the wind generators is they're not... Um, solar based or anything they just they're just constantly powering and you build a, a few of these things basic control energy certificate so osmium ingots so really it's not super expensive it's just a little complicated because you got to build all the different parts it's just not really expensive to do them all so but that requires us to build several more machines and have an area where you know the higher they are the more wind they generate or power they generate so I'm wondering if I want to build a wind farm on the top of that mountain, that might actually work pretty well. And then just chunk load it and have one of those dimensional cells. Whoops. Uh, these things have one of these up there. Not the big one yet, because I need those aquamarine, those prismarine shards, which I don't really have access to yet. Unless I go diving in the ocean. Uh, automated crafting natural altar infusion. Ooh, nether quartz. Natural altar transmutation catalyst. The fuck is a tra Oh, wow. Brewing stand, gold leaf. Ah, uh, that seems complicated as fuck. Um, multi servo press. Prismarine. Bricks or shards. So I'm gonna have to go aqua hunting somewhere. To get 
either these prismarine bricks, which are nine of them, or just hunting prismarine. Then I think the rat suffocate. God damn it again! Why do my rats keep dying? They keep getting suffocated. Which rat was that? I don't know. Looks like that was just the the one that was running around gathering. That's a little frustrating. These rats are not... I mean, they suffocate in the trees too much. For them to be... really working very well. Kind of... Oh, that's not the door I want. Why is this still open? Kind of dangerous. So... Yeah, there's that issue. Maybe I'll, uh, I may have to figure out a new kind of uh, farm for trees because my rats keep getting caught in the, the tree growth. So it kind of defeats the purpose. All right, where did the rat pelts go? Are they in here? There they are. Alrighty, so, I mean, I guess I can just have this one follow me outside and have them gather now. No, no. Come on out. And, so yeah, I'm thinking the best option is going to be to build a wind farm uh, for power. I'll set home point here. Deposit items in here. And set you to gather items. So between you and the lumberjack rat, should be able to gather all the items. The reason why I needed to gather item one, because if too many trees grow, the lumberjack gets distracted and leaves stuff on the ground. And so the gather items rat should pick them up. But as long as they don't suffocate constantly, you know, that's a problem. As long as they stay over here in the long run. Alright, what's the lumber? Okay, he's chopping again. I mean, it's pretty buggy. Okay, I mean, it's kind of interesting. Pretty nifty that they can do this, but... It's very buggy that they keep suffocating in walls. Which, in this case, is a tree growing on top of them. So, they should be smart enough to stay away from the damn trees. I mean, their home point's clear over here. Just go back to the home point. Why well, set it over here, away from the, the, the range of the trees? Yeah, everything should be fine, but whatever. Anyway. I'm going to have a little, little bit of gripes there. So, and also I want to get into uh, mechanisms, energy pipes. Which, what are they called? Cables? Yeah, uh, they're a little bit better designed. Uh, they're really not expensive at all either. 3.2, oh wow, they move a lot of power. And the advanced versions are just the infused alloy version. So, steel ingots and redstone? Oh, that, I think I have steel ingots. I might already be able to do that. Compressed iron, graphite. Did I not get more steel? I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult to make some more. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should give us a full stack plus some. Yank. And we want some charcoal. And I'll just make a stack of steel. Why not, right? Uh, tink. Tink. 14. Oh, wow, that filled it up. All right, well, whatever. Thousand. It's probably gonna have more carbon than I need, huh? Yeah, I'll we'll see where it goes. If I have to put put the extra in, I will. So I'm gonna let that cook up, get some more steel, and I'm going to make some more or make some of these pipes, the uh, basic universal cables. Uh, I also need to get a machine. What is it called? How do you make those things? So this is made in a metallurgic infuser. Oh, I could already do that. I just need redstone version. However, I do want to 
get this machine, the enrichment chamber. That's what we want. Let's make an enrichment chamber. Basic control circuits. Okay, we're going to have to... Oops. All right, go back to the enrichment chamber. Let's put this on our little bar. We want one of these. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and make one of those real quick, which we... It might take a while. I'm going to have to let those cook up on, on aren't I? And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I don't know why I did it that way, but whatever. And so I'll let those cook up. And has this been recharging? Yeah, it's full again. I did go to the mining dimension and turned on my miner, my builder for a moment. And so it sucked all the power out of the system and then it had to refill everything, which is fine. Uh, but that's the ultimate reason why I want to increase. But look how much more we've gotten down to. So this little chunk has made it all the way down to bedrock. Peek-a-woo! And then, so now it's working on the next chunk. And it'll just, it'll go that way until it reaches its end here. And then it goes back like that and just kind of like a typewriter. So it'll, it'll do its thing. Um, but it takes a lot of power to do that. And so I want to get that power up and left. Twitch, twitch, twitch. So I'm going to let this all cook up. There's still a ton in there. I put way too much carbon in there. Um, I did notice that charcoal gives you twice as much carbon as coal. So if you ever are in need, uh, let's see, of, if you're making these things, I highly recommend using charcoal instead of coal for it. What am I looking for? Still grit. Which is made from what? Metallurgic infuser? That's fine. Okay. So, carbon, you get 80 from an enriched carbon. You get 180 from a block of charcoal or charcoal block. Okay, there's two different blocks of charcoal. You get 10 from coal and 20 from charcoal. So, if you use coal, you get half as much as, as the charcoal stuff. So, definitely use charcoal because it's also renewable. You can grow trees, you cook them, voila. You got charcoal. So... Charcoal is the much better way to go than coal for a carbon mechanism. Um, obviously, a block is going to be great, but it's really just, it's not getting any extra. You get nine times of them, so it's the same amount. However, there's enriched carbon, which is even better, because you get 80, and you get one enriched carbon from cho car ah, coal or charcoal or a, what is this, ditch bulb? Whatever the fuck that is. So, that's even better. So, once you get your enrichment chamber... Just enrich your coal or charcoal, which again, charcoal's renewable, coal's not. Might as well use the charcoal. And um, yeah, in most cases, I almost always use charcoal instead of the coal um, because it's renewable. That's the main main reason. Um, and I'll there's certain things like this. Look, this is not coal or charcoal. This can only be made with coal. So there's some things that you have to have coal to use. Most things you can make charcoal, uh, you can substitute charcoal for it. Maybe, never mind, that is coal or, okay. Most things you can use charcoal or coal in the recipe. Every now and then you need something specifically with coal. Like what is dark glass? Can that dark glass use? Yep, it's our directionary. But anyway, just in case, I like to save my coal if I can. So that's that's I highly recommend using charcoal whenever possible, but it's it's up to you. Um, why do I keep hearing skeletons? There's probably some up there. Also, I had a one of those Wilden things. He came and was sitting there munching on my cows, like through the fence. He got to the cows. So three of my four cows have been killed. Fucking creatures. Um, I did, however, get some more carrots. So I can start transitioning over to carrots. The nice thing I like the, about carrots is as I harvest them, it just produces food. I don't have to deal with all the seeds that I'm getting from all these tomatoes. So I'm going to replace all my tomatoes with carrots. And not have to deal with the seeds anymore. I've got 
ridiculous amounts of seeds, so I'm not really worried about it. So as soon as, and I should probably keep like one or two carrots uh, separate. Just so if I have another instance like what happened last time, it was where all my carrots disappeared. Hey, what do you want? No, 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 no. Uh, here, fine. Go pick that up and do something with it. You stay over there, buddy. You're come. Um, here. Did you get it? You did. Okay. Yeah, you guys get over there. Lumberjack, keep chopping. Oh, that's a big fucking tree. Damn it. They don't quite get all the wood pieces from the trees. One of the big ones. I should probably ch find some spruce and change to those. Because they'll they grow straight up and they don't have to don't have to deal with the funky branches and shit. So where were we? Extra tomatoes. I was gonna let that chart <laughs> cook up and I'm sitting there chatting, so I'll, I'll let this cook up, get my steel out of that and i'll be right back all right we got our steel cooked up and we got how did those get split so we got steel we also got a bunch of these and a bunch of these made so what were we making <laughs> uh, also i made some upgrades um to increase the speeds so we need a steel casing and an iron ingot so I need an osmium ingot for that. So let's get some iron. Let's get some osmium. And an enrichment chamber. So we need a steel casing. Bam. And enrichment chamber. Yay. Now. Put that charge up, maybe. Is this still on all the power? Yeah, that thing's still on all the power because we did all that. So let's go. We need. What did we need? Pipes. Uh, or rather, cables. That's the whole reason why we did that. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more of those. We'll just split those evenly and go bam. Now we have a whole stack of these. And we can go right to the advanced cables. Get a whole stack of advanced cables because they're better. The elite ones require reinforced alloys, which is diamond. Um, and obviously the best thing would be the enriched diamond because you get 80. A diamond dust only gives you 10. You get one diamond dust for a diamond or you get one enriched diamond for a diamond once you put it in the enrichment chamber. Definitely go the enriched route if you're going to be using the diamond stuff because it's just diamonds. Unless you have ridiculous amounts of diamonds, which I don't. I've used a lot, but... Eventually I might, but either, either way, much better to do it in here. Um, so now, going forward, I will enrich stuff before I stick it in here. Um, however, so now we've got our enrichment chamber. We got, oh, our cables. So let's now... I'm going to remove all these. And we are going to put these in their place. Whoops. Uh, the mechanic. Okay, so now. Um, wow, yeah. So that's full. That's full. That's full. That's full. So everything's full except for these. These should be filling up. What's pulling all the power? Oh, oh also these cables store power as you can see they are all now charging up so they can hold 307,000 each so just these cables sitting here gives you kind of a battery so these will actually hold their power much longer this way so yay now we have more power and we have these kind of useless tier one energy pipes they're just they're just not as good a pipe i like the, the mechanical uh, mechanism pipes are just they're better pipes uh, in my opinion so we're gonna put this stuff here we got extra steel ingots 
redstone dust. I did use a lot of redstone dust for that, but it's not like I don't have plenty, so it's not that big a deal. Um, I am going to put these up in here in case uh, I tend to need them. Those can probably... I kind of need another specialty item box, huh? I guess they can go in there. So, alrighty. We have accomplished our mechanism cables. And now, what do we need for a wind generator? So, we have all that. We have all that. Sweet. Whoa. Okay, so we need redstone. Back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll just do this. Take a stack of redstone. We need gold. We need osmium. What else did we need? Osmium, all those things. All those stuff that we just made. And is that enough to do? How many can we make? So we need an even number of these. 12, that'll work. Whoa, they do not stack. And they do take power. And it's sucking the... Wow! Maybe I should have pulled that out of my system before I charged that many tablets at once, huh? Okay, well, with that, and I don't have any more infused alloys, right? Well, let's infuse some alloys. So we're gonna throw that back in there, so it can get charged back up. That was painful. Um, let's throw four of these in here, and then. Because the infused alloys are just the iron infused with redstone, right? Yeah. So we need to get some more iron ingots. Um, I'm spider. Oh, let's not make a mess of my wine. Alrighty. So iron ingots. We got 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We got one of these. So let's get another stack. How much? Um, so these give us 80. And we need 10 each. So we'll need 640. So we need 8 of these, right? If my math is correct. So we throw those in there. And that should be 3,200. Yep, not 320, 3,200. Sweet. Transport sub config. I mean, I can output, right? And I can have an auto eject, but I'm not going to because a lot of times I don't want it directly to go in there. So for now, I will be manually building them. Later on, I can add, I can set up a system to where it's automatic and it'll, it'll be convenient. So, and eventually, using refined storage, I will automate the crap out of everything. Like, I'll have an enrichment chamber that it just sends in some redstone to get those specific enriched redstones. And then an enriched redstone plus however many of these, which would be eight, would give you eight of these. And that will be the, so every time it tries to make them, it will specifically go for enriched redstone first. And uh, that way it's a little more efficient, a lot more efficient. And we can get better, you know, better use of the res uh, resources, hence the efficiency. Um, also, if as you notice how much faster this is, I did fully upgrade it with eight. You can put eight upgrades of speed and eight upgrades of energy. So now it gets ten times the energy efficiency and ten times the speed. So, well worth it. Um, I'll probably do the same thing to that, uh, just because it's it's crazy how much you want to do that. So those 12 should give me the ability to do sticks and I don't have enough osmium. But I can get at least four for right now. Can I just shift click? Yeah, I can, but it'll go to the wrong spot. And windmills also do not stack. Interesting. So I need some more osmium real quick and I can get some windmills. Where is 
Do I not have any more Osmium blocks? Am I just missing it? Osmium blocks. So one, two, three, four, whatever. I don't think I need that many. In mail, I need two more. So one, two, these. And throw those last two in there, and bam, we've got six windmills. So they can produce up to, or they can store 80 kilobyte, kill 80,000 FE. Is that right? I don't know how much they actually produce. It's not showing how much it produces. Left shift for details, shift plus N for description. Generator that uses the strength of the wind to produce energy with greater efficiency at higher levels. Okay. We already knew that much. So now what we need is another dimensional cell. We'll use a simple one. Uh, so machine frame. So we need iron ingots. We need gold nuggets, which looks like we're going to need these. And we're going to need, not the advanced, just the simple. Redstone blocks, nether quartz, and diamond. So two diamonds. Uh, nether quartz, redstone blocks, dimensional cell, simple, oh, and machine frame. So I need some blue dye. All of these. I'm pretty sure I already used my other ones, right? I got some cyan, but yeah. I already used the other ones to make the cyan. And machine frame, boom, boom. Simple cell, boom, boom. And I need a power cell card, which is more ingots and some paper, which I have paper right there. And boom, boom. Okay. So, nope, yep. And that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. These will go in here. So I need to tie this is it that no that 13 okay and then place stick that in there it should be connected 82 it's just not powered because yeah okay so now we have a power source to plug into we have six of these and we have some pipes to transmit. And now we just need to go and get our location. Oh, that's, we have sucked all the power out of everything. What is using all the power right now? Is this charging back up? Yeah, that's charge. Yeah, those, cells sucked um but they are full of energy already so once i place them they're gonna put it all back into the system so that's a bonus there's spider somewhere that's driving me insane i, I want to go up this mountain and put them up here and so i'm gonna go ahead and climb this mountain and i'll be right back because we're getting close to the end of the episode and you don't need to see me climb so i'll be right back Okay, I'm back. Uh, I did also clear the top of this mountain off. Um, there was quite a bit of items up here, but no longer. <laughs> so, the way these windmills work is... Um, I know I dropped it down a little bit, but I'm at 106 height, so I don't think the height's really going to be an issue. So, but these windmills do have a specific side to connect these two. So, you need to make sure that... It, the side that you've got facing is going to be where you need it. Um, and what I like to do is I'll just put them facing each other because then I only need to place half as many of these things. See, now they all filled up really quick and these are producing and filling. It just has nowhere, else, nowhere to go right now. And because these can take in certain amount per side, I like to also make sure that I have the capability 
putting in on multiple sides. Uh, we do want all of these in. And now, those six windmills, which, yeah, obviously they would be running into each other, so that's a little shenanigan-y, but um, that's okay. But look how much fast, how fast that's now powering our system. We, it's a, what is it, 1 million RF storage capability? Oh, something's dropping it down. Why is it suddenly going down now? Oh, because these are... Okay, it filled up our, our stacks, but that's okay. See, and it's varying how much it's producing. So these are outputting 384 FE per tick. So each one. Each one should be putting out the same amount. So they're putting out a lot of power. Um, it doesn't seem like a lot, 384 per tick. And it'll go into this very fast, which it sucked it right down because of that uh, one block um, pulling it all out. But that will also make it to where yeah so these will have extra storage eventually once everything gets filled up but okay so oh and i need to chunk load this where am i at let's stand on this specifically we want this one chunk loaded so claimed chunks yep this and shift and we're going to claim the whole top of this mountain here. That might be more than I need. But right now, that should all be that I need to shift to claim, right? Yeah, it's all in this chunk. But just in case, I'll just load the ones to the sides to be safe. Um, I know there's a way to see the chunk boundaries, but I'm not sure what it is, and I'm not really that worried about it. The only one on here, so claiming so many chunks isn't that big a deal. I've got 14 or 25 force loaded, and I can claim up to 500, but I'm by myself. So it's not like I'm lagging the server. This is just me. I'm not, I'm not concerned. But so I have, what, six doing 384 per tick? What's going on here? That's not what I want. You go away. You go away. And so I think it's 384, right? Yeah, 384, so 384 times 6. So right now, those are producing 2,304 RF per tick. So, I think we were producing, like, something like 240, or did we get up to 400 and something? Let's, ow. Uh, let's go back down to, that's clear in the nether that I'm producing stuff, huh? Ow. I, I think I do more damage to myself from just jumping off of cliffs and shit and burning. I burn to death a lot. That's a that's like my nemesis. Okay, these guys are still doing their thing. I kind of cut that down because it was really glitching out, so I've reduced how many they're producing. And actually, my um, planter guy died again. Another, you know, he got suffocated, which is just frustrating that that happens. Uh, what were we looking at? Oh, we need to go into the nether and see how much we're actually producing from our magmatic engines, which should be fairly easy to get to. So the windmills, just those six, which I will eventually have more, are producing 2300 RF per tick. And these, whoops. These guys... Twitch, Twitch, are producing 40. Yeah, I was thinking it was higher because I thought I'd upgraded them. Obviously, I have not. So, I wasn't producing 80 RF per tick. Now I'm producing 2380. <laughs> so, tremendous more amount of power. Not super expensive. Um, the nice thing about these is it's, it's just pulling lava from here and creating a platform down here. I could eventually build a base on this, which would be kind of cool. But, do I really need a base in the nether? I mean, what am I going to do down here? It's just going to be for mining most of the time, right? I guess I could put a, oh, some Benoit or, or ben Benoit. Ben ben oh. Come on. Finish pitching. Finish pitching. Let me out. Let me out. No, I don't want to go back in. Okay. Sediment. Oh. Sediment stone. Ugh. Struggle, struggle. Come on. Okay. 
caught up to whatever it was needing to do. And so yeah, now we have a lot more power coming in. Everything getting charged much faster. Yeah, this is gonna it's gonna suck the power down, which is okay. Yeah, look how much faster that's charging. And there's not really anything wasted. Um, with the lava, the the magmatic dynamos, they're still going to be burning, you know, lava, even when I'm not needing the power. So I'm not too concerned with it right now because, like I said, I kind of want it to stone those areas. So I still kind of want to burn burn up that lava. And eventually, I will also build some tanks. Actually, I can build those now, huh? The ender tanks. Uh, how about ender tank? Where are you? That. Oh, I need a blaze rod still for those. So that's that's uh, another task for another day. Every time I come back from the nether, it really has a hard time dealing with stuff for a bit. I think it's... Oh, no, because there's only two claimed chunks down there. I don't know. It'll, it'll eventually recover and and become playable again. But that that's we accomplished what we wanted. We got six windmills built up, and, um, and uh, now we're getting plenty of energy. So that's already full again. Those are both full. Twitch, twitch, come on, fucker. And that is now filling up. So I can have enough power now, I think. Power this thing, at least some. Wow, it is really struggling. Now even more so. I gotta figure out what's going on with that. Should I turn down my video? Is it video that's gonna be doing it? I mean, I know my render chunks are far out there. Let's probably put that down to. 18 chunks. See if that helps. Nope. Something's really chopping the server down. Anyway. Bam. Still not enough to keep up with that thing. Because that just drained the whole system really fast. So we still got to work on, on getting more power there. But we'll get there. Um, eventually, I'll have a bunch of, um, of uh, tin. Yes, hey, we're, we're down to the tin level, which is good. Eventually, we'll have a bunch of windmills, and so power eventually no longer is an issue. But I do need to get into refined storage, so maybe we'll do that next episode. Um, but until then, drink responsibly, folks.